and welcome to the first chapter in this course that will get you set up with all the HTML and CSS basics you need to know to make your first websites. After all, that's why you're here, right? We know that tech skills are important these days. So what better way to get started in tech than to build your own simple page? What are HTML and CSS though? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It controls the structure of your page and the story that your page tells. It will allow you to add a heading, some paragraphs, maybe a list or two, or a footer to your page. Basically, it's the structure and pure content that you're trying to create. CSS, on the other hand, stands for Cascading Style Sheets. It controls the appearance of your content. So if you want to have a red background and a groovy yellow heading, or just increase the font size a little bit to make your page easier to read, you'll accomplish all of this by writing CSS code. You can already tell that these two languages go hand in hand to create great looking websites that you'll be able to build at the end of this course. At the end of this chapter text, you'll see an interactive exercise. You're going to write your first lines of HTML and CSS, and what's important is to just do the exercise. You don't need to understand the precise syntax of each language yet. We'll get there in the rest of the course. So join me in this screencast and we'll do the interactive exercise together. The first instruction in this exercise is to click the index.html file to the right, which is right here, and to remove this chunk of text, which I will simply highlight and delete. Now the goal of this exercise is not necessarily to automatically understand HTML or CSS syntax and all the nuance that goes along with these two languages. All you have to do in this exercise is follow step by step these instructions and you'll get a good feel for what the process of writing code is like before we jump into theory throughout the whole rest of this course. Therefore, all I need to do is copy this line of code here or type it out character by character if you're feeling ambitious. You should feel free to substitute your name here where it says, hello, my name is Emily. The next instruction is to click the green run code button, which will load our changes in this web browser preview. When you're writing code in an actual developer workflow, you won't be working on an external platform like this, which is Code Evolve. You won't therefore have to click run code every time to visualize your changes. It's only for the sake of the exercise, but it's a great way to get a feel for writing code here and seeing it previewed in a web browser down below. Congratulations on writing your first line of HTML. You've already created a heading that has the following text inside, but you haven't actually thought about its appearance at all yet. So we're going to do that via CSS, which is our next set of instructions here. Now click style.css in the file list to the right, the instructions tell us. So we will do just that. And we're supposed to remove this placeholder text again. So I've done so. And now we're supposed to paste or type this following set of code. I'm just going to paste it to keep things easy. And click the green run code button again. Wow, that looks more interesting, right? This is what CSS does. It allows you to take content that you write in HTML, which was the first line of code that you wrote, and modify its appearance via other different lines of code that are CSS. Hopefully you've already got an immediate sense of how these two languages play together and you're stoked for the next step of learning what's actually behind them.